Hey guys. So I had someone asking me how I do the different keychain loops and things like that on my keychains and how I edit those things in Bamboo Studio, especially when I'm doing painting on multicolor models and stuff like that. And I actually just recently figured out a trick in Bamboo Studio to make this so much easier for myself. And I'm pretty sure this would work in Prusa Slicer and Orca because the three of those are very similar. So I'm gonna show y'all what I've been started doing lately to add keychain loops to my otherwise non-keychain models way easier than I have been doing before, which was adding keychain loop in my sculpting program, Nomad Sculpt, and painting my models twice in Bamboo Studio, which was a really dumb thing on my end. So I'm gonna show y'all the easier way to do it now. Alrighty, so we're always learning new things, right? So I just learned about this. In Bamboo Studio, these are one of my most recent set of Flexi Doggies. So you can see I painted all these. These are gonna print multicolor. And before I was repainting these for my keychain versions of my dogs, which as you can imagine, was a whole paint, especially for some of these dogs that have really individualized markings. So what I do now in Bamboo Studio is you click on your model, gonna right click on it, do add negative part, add the torus, which is gonna be this little donut shape for you. Going to scale this down, you know, scale it up and down, whatever size works best for you. I try to do my best to center them, you know, it's not always perfect. And then, you know, move it around with your little arrows like that. When you add a negative part like this, it's not gonna show it in the model here. Oh, sorry, making me all dizzy. But when you slice it, this negative part will have a hole through the tail right there. So when you slice it, even though you're not going to see it here, you'll have that. Another way to make holes for keychains and stuff in Straighten Bamboo Studio, if you don't mind messing with the multicolor model or if you do this before coloring, is this little feature up here, Mesh Boolean, which I literally just learned about like last month. So I'm gonna click on that, do union is gonna join two pieces together, difference is going to subtract one piece from the other. So I'm gonna do difference. I'm gonna select my doggy, and then I'm gonna select that ring. And then difference, and then you see it's gonna make that dog all one color again, but now there is a keychain hole through there. So that's the hole that would be there if we had gone through with slicing it with the negative volume. But since I like to save a colored 3MF file like this, the colored 3MF file will keep this information for y'all to print. Um, but I also like to distribute the plain STL files to y'all so that even if you don't have multicolor or bamboo printer, you can use the keychain or non-keychain versions. And so I will do this. So that way they all have the same exact keychain loop. It's more uniform It is way simpler to do in the slicer here than trying to finagle it in my actual sculpting program. So hopefully that is helpful to y'all. And what you can also do, sometimes if I'll add a loop here, I want it to be a little bit thicker. And so then I actually will sometimes do add part and I'll add another torus. And I will shrink that down a little bit and maybe rotate it. We're going to move it and then you can even add in some extra volume here if you need to thicken up whatever's left where you cut into that loop. So I'll sometimes add extra little toruses like on the edges, things like that to help with that kind of situation. Obviously that's not really needed here, but I'll do that on some of my keychains recently. So hopefully that's helpful and I will talk to y'all later.